Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling Norman Foster's famous, famous 30th Street Mary X or informally known as the Grake building in London. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I create tutorials like these pretty much every day. Okay, so we're going to go to architectural template and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the units, so I'm just going to go UN and change this to meters. Go OK, OK. And now I'm going to go to South Elevation and let's set this level 2 at 180 meters because that is the actual height of this building. And now we need to add an image that we're going to use to model accordingly. So I'm going to go here to the Insert tab, I'm going to choose Image, and I'm just going to go to Desktop and find this building, open it up and place it. And I'm, I'm just going to stretch it up a bit to make it fit the, these levels I've already created. OK. Now let's make it a bit smaller here. Okay, that looks about right. Maybe move it a bit. Okay, now let's just add a reference plane down the middle. So I'm just going to go like this. Okay, now we have that reference plane. And now when I go back to level one, I'm just going to select this reference plane and go create similar and create another one that's perpendicular to it. And I'm just going to select it and name it reference plane number one. Okay, now I can go into the massing and site tab and choose in place mass because we're going to mo be modeling this. So I'm just going to call this tower. Okay, and I'm going to go to south elevation and here we have our image and I'm going to create this as a revolve. So I need a center line and something that's going to go around it. So for the center line I'm going to use reference line. So I'm just going to go here by name and I'm going to pick the reference plane number one. That's the one that's perpendicular to us. And here I'm going to place it on this here center plane. Okay, so this is our reference line that we're going to basically twist our half shape around. So now we need to model that shape, so I'm just going to go to model lines, create a spline, and I'm just going to start from here. And you just place a few points, I'm just going to go with, I don't know, like four points, and end it over here. Now you go back to line, you go to the center, and you go all the way up. Now you can select this line by double clicking on it and you can then bend it in shape. So you just move it around to make it fit the shape of the building. Maybe move this out a bit, move this a bit higher. Okay, let's say this looks about right. Then we need to select this closed line and by holding control you select the reference line as well and you go create form and here we have the form. Now if I go into 3D it looks like something like this. So now when we select this form you select one half then you call the control and you select the second half and then we need to create that diamond basically shape. So I go to the divide surface and the, for the pattern I'm just going to go with the regular rectangle pattern and for all grid ro rotation I'm just going to go to 45. Go apply and here for the number I'm going to go 19 for both of them. 19 here, go apply and the reason I went with 19 that's because then here the both halves align. Okay, now once we've done that we need to create an actual family 
shape that comes over here and covers this up with glass so to do so we need to create go basically to the start menu go new go family and here we need to find curtain panel pattern based so we have a pattern we just need to create a curtain panel and to do so we just go over here you create one point basically on any one of these doesn't really matter and you're going to use that as a reference point so now you can go to model lines you set the plane and you come over here and you set this little plane over here and I'm just going to go up a bit and then I'm going to extend it down and do the same thing over here like so now I'm not going to be terribly precise because this is just some generic shape that I'm using okay and now we delete these middle ones and now you just select this shape and these four lines and you go create form and you get something like this and then you go load into project and if I go into 3D I can select these two halves and here I can choose this family one that I've created and you just give it a minute to calculate everything and there you go here's our shape okay that's the basic philosophy on how you can create geometry like this Norman Foster Grecken building in from London thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any ideas for further tutorials any questions or comments leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day